Welcome to the channel. My name is Julian and I work at Blogwall, which helps over a billion sites with 100% reliable backups. In this video, I'll solve all your backup related doubts through three chapters. In chapter 1, you'll understand the most common backup issues and how to avoid them. In chapter 2, I'll help you choose the right backup plugin by comparing the top three backup plugins in the market. In chapter 3, I'll show you how to make backups via a web host, how to make backups manually, and how to make 100% reliable backups with a backup plugin. You can use the chapters below to skip ahead if you're short on time, but I'd recommend watching the full video because these insights will help you for a lifetime. Alright, let's begin. Chapter 1. Common Backup Issues Before we get into the 5 most common backup issues, there is one misunderstanding that a lot of people have which I'd like to clear upfront. You may find articles on the internet that claim you can get away with backing up only certain parts of your site. Please do not follow this advice. We strongly recommend against doing this because it becomes much more difficult to restore a website from a partial backup. Always take a full WordPress backup of everything on your site and cherry pick the bits that you want to restore later. Next, we'll cover the 5 main backup issues that you need to know about. These risks will also help me explain the 5 non-negotiable features that your backup plugin must have. Number 1. Web host issues. Your web host stores your website on a server, which is essentially a computer. Just like any other computer, servers can also crash for a hundred different reasons, like network errors, electricity surges, software issues, malware infections, weather fluctuations, and many more reasons. According to survey results released by the Uptime Institute this summer, nearly one third of all data centers had an outage in the past year. Most people do not realize just how vulnerable their servers are until they get hit and lose their data permanently. This is why webhost backups are quite risky, because if your backups are stored on the same server or same host as your website, there's always a possibility that you can lose both of them with no chance of getting them back. But if you have backups stored independent of the host on a separate server, you can restore your website on a different server without any issues. That is why we always need to have encrypted off-site backups of your site to keep your data truly safe. Number 2. Update Errors Themes and plugins improve the functionality of your website greatly. However, these add-ons are often developed by different programmers, so they don't always play well together and can cause site crashes and data losses. That's why you need to have the option of on-demand backups and free staging, so you can take a backup right before you install or update anything, especially complex plugins like Yoast, WooCommerce, and Elementor. This way, you have the option to roll back to a previous version if anything goes wrong. Number 3. Malware Issues On average, 30,000 websites are hacked every day. Even the best security systems are not 100% and invulnerable. Malware causes a lot of distress and loss to a business in different ways. Redirect malware steals organic traffic and visitors from your website and sends them to a spam website instead. Or a phishing attack tries to scam your visitors into giving up personal information. Other hackers just wipe out data and content from your website in defacement attacks. A security plugin like Malcare can clean any hack from your website in minutes, but it cannot bring back deleted content and files if a hacker has deleted them. This is why automatic backups are a lifesaver because you can restore from the latest unhacked version of your site. Number 4. Human error is inevitable when it comes to maintaining a website. You may forget to renew the hosting on time, or pages and posts may get deleted, or there may be errors in judgment for example, if you applied some settings that resulted in an unexpected side effect, or if you made certain changes that you just didn't like afterwards. The key to avoid getting stuck here is to have the option to take unlimited backups whenever you want. Number 5. Restoring Issues Now that you know how important backups are, it is also important to know how frequently your website needs to have one taken. We recommend taking daily backups as the best option for most websites, as in case of any issue, the work lost is minimal and can be easily recovered. However, if you have an e-commerce store or a high traffic site, the changes made in a 24-hour period are considerable and not recoverable easy. E-commerce stores have transactions, orders and customer data that change rapidly and for that, Real-time backups are the only sensible option. Real-time backups make sure that even small changes are easily recoverable and you never have to worry about losing important data. So, to summarize this section, there are 5 non-negotiable backup features that your backup plugin must have. Number 1. Off-site backups. Number 2. On-demand backups. Number 3. Automatic backups. Number 4. Unlimited storage. Number 5. Real-time backups. Now, let's quickly evaluate the top 3 backup plugins in the market. Chapter 2. Top 3 Backup Plugins. Now, some of you may wonder if I'm being biased when comparing Blogworld with Backup Buddy or Updraft Plus, since the name of this channel is Blogworld. So, I'm only going to talk in terms of facts that you can easily cross-check by trying out each plugin. If you're short on time, here's a table highlighting the main pros, cons, and prices of each plugin. If you want to understand better which plugin is the right fit for you and why, please watch the next section and we'll give you a quick summary of each plugin with a conclusion at the end. 
Number one, Blogwalt. We tested Blogwalt on small, medium, and large WordPress sites, and we found that it worked just as effortlessly on all three of them. The website sync took less than two minutes, even for a large website of around 10 GB. One of the most important features of Blogwalt is that it offers off-site storage for your backups for 90 days, with the backup archive extendable for up to 365 days for WooCommerce websites. Additionally, a year's worth of backups can take up a significant amount of space, and if you choose to store it on the cloud or any other storage, you may incur additional costs. Blogwalt stores all of your backups on its off-site servers at no additional cost. When you backup your WordPress website frequently, it can cause performance issues. Blogwalt does not affect your website performance as it does incremental backups of your website after the first one. Our conclusion was that Blogwalt is the most versatile backup plugin. It works for all types of websites and needs. You can try Blogwalt for free as they offer a free 7-day trial and I'll link in the description below. Number 2. Backup Buddy You can schedule automatic backups of the plugin which can be as frequent as hourly. While this is good for a regular website, it is not enough for a WooCommerce site that requires real-time backups. When we tested the plugin, the the backups were stored without any issues. However, when trying to restore the backups, the large site backup failed. A failed restore can cause downtime and a lot of anxiety, which can result in a lot of losses. Besides this, Backup Buddy stores your backups on the site server by default. This can overload your WordPress website and slow it down. You can change the settings and store your backups on the cloud or its own storage service, which is free up to 1 GB. However, as large site backups go way beyond 1 GB, this is not nearly enough and the cost of storage could quickly start piling up. Backup Buddy plans start at $80 per year. This does not include additional storage costs. Our conclusion is that Backup Buddy's free WordPress backup version is sufficient for small WordPress sites without too many updates or changes. I'll add a link to the site below in case you're interested to check them out. Number three, Updraft Plus. You can link your Updraft Plus account to cloud services such as Amazon S3, Dropbox, and Google Drive. Additionally, they also offer a paid WordPress backup storage service called Updraft Plus Vault. However, the storage cost can ramp up very fast for medium and large sites. When backing up, WordPress allows you to take partial backups by splitting the website backup into five parts – database, plugins, themes, uploads, and others. This allows you to pick a few or all of the parts in order to create a partial or complete backup. When we tried backing up a large WordPress site, Updraft Plus gave us a warning that said, you're about to backup a large site. This did not stop the backup process, but also did not instill much confidence. At the time of restoring our sites, Updraft Plus gave failure warnings and directions for the medium sites, but completely failed to restore the large WordPress site. Our conclusion is that the plugin is good for small WordPress sites, but not suitable for large sites. I'll add a link to the site below in case you're interested. So, our overall conclusion is this. Our testing has clearly showed us that Blogworld is the recommended plugin for most users due to five main reasons. Number one, automatic backups, real-time backups, and on-demand backups. Blogwalt basically lets you take any type of backup that you may need. You can set up a time for a backup and forget about it till the time you need to restore. This frequency can be set to every five minutes as well, so you always have real-time backups to restore from. There's also an option for unlimited on-demand backups, so you can click a button and take a backup in case you're about to make any changes on your site. Number two, 100% restore success. Blogworld backups restore 100% every single time. There's also a 24-7 customer support to help you with any issues. Number three, unlimited yearly storage. Storage costs on local drives and cloud services can add up quickly for large sites, but you never have to worry about that with Blogworld because you get unlimited storage. While most plugins and web hosts store backups for up to a month at most, Blogworld gives you access to a year's worth of backups on your website, so you can restore any part of your website from any point in the last year easily. Number four, off-site encrypted backups. All your site backups are stored off your website server, so if anything goes wrong with your web host or website server, your site can be restored instantly on a different server from a blog wall backup. Number five, integrated staging. Test all your updates on a staging site before making changes to your live site. Once testing is complete, merge those changes quickly without having to repeat the process. Chapter number three, how to backup a WordPress site. Option number one, backup with a plugin. The easiest and most reliable way to backup a WordPress site is to use a plugin. Backups are a vital but tedious maintenance activity, and it is the sort of task that can be automated easily. You should only have to think about backups when you need to restore your site or a part of it, and it should be there by default. That is a truly hands-free maintenance of your website. As we covered in the previous section, Blogworld is the best choice for this kind of hands-free and reliable maintenance of your website. So, now I'll show you how to take a backup of your site in just a few minutes using Blogworld. Number one, create an account on Blogworld and click on Add New Site. Number two, enter your website URL. Number three, choose Automatic Installation and enter your WP Admin credentials. 
and that's it. The site starts to sync, which means a WordPress backup is in progress. The sync process will happen in the background and you can continue working on your website as you normally would. If for any reason you're facing any issue installing Blog World, just shoot an email to this ID and our 24-7 support will help you out. Option number two, backup with a web host. Most web hosts offer backups as a part of their services, sometimes as an add-on or sometimes bundled with their hosting plans. To backup your WordPress site with your web host, first you need to figure out if backups are included in your plan or not. Either read the terms of your agreement or reach out to their support. Once you have established this, you can set up web host backups in a few steps. We have used WP Engine for this tutorial. Number one, log into your hosting dashboard and navigate to the site you want to backup. Number two, look for a backup option. This can either be in a menu or in the navigation panel. Number three, follow on-screen instructions to complete the WordPress backup. We have complete guides for backups and restores for the major web hosts like GoDaddy, SiteGround, WP Engine, and Bluehost, which I'll add in the description below. However, please be warned, web host backups are a good option for first-time users, but should not be the only backups on your website. There are several locations where people have lost their websites entirely in spite of getting web host backups. Here are some common reasons why web host backups are not reliable. Number one, Backups are stored on the same server as your site. Server issues can take down your site and its backup, leaving you nowhere. Additionally, storing multiple copies of your website on your server means that the backups are eating away at your server resources. In these cases, users have to choose between expanding their website or maintaining their backups. This is not a choice that anyone should have to make. Offsite backups are not immediately available as well. Even if your website is backed up on an external server, you need to contact customer support to access it. When something goes wrong, you want to be able to restore your site quickly, which is not always possible with web host backups. Malware makes web hosts trigger happy. If malware is detected on your website, web hosts can act very quickly to take the website offline, and in some cases, delete it outright. Bluehost is particularly trigger happy in this aspect. Fortunately, they will delete backups as well and you are left with nothing with which you can rebuild or recover your site. This is why we always recommend using a dedicated backup plugin like BlogWalt instead of relying on web host backups. Option number three, backup manually. Manual backups are the least time effective and most tedious to take. If anyone has to rely on a manual backup process, chances are they will start cutting corners and skipping backups, regardless of how dedicated they are. Manual backups are time consuming and that time is honestly better spent doing something more productive. Having said that, it may sometimes be useful to know exactly how to take a manual backup, a bit like knowing how to drive a stick when all the other cars are automatic. The first thing to understand about manual backups is that you're going to have to take two partial backups for a complete WordPress backup. This means you need to backup the files and the database separately and save the two backups together each time. We've put together a complete guide on how to take manual backups which outlines each step in detail. I'll attach this in the description below. However, in most cases, we strongly advise against manual backups for three main reasons. Number one, unreliable restores. The whole point of a WordPress backup is that you can restore your website if it crashes or breaks. But cPanel is not built to handle large sites. So after a certain size, the backup will almost always fail. This is especially the case with large databases. Restores mean downtime. To restore a website, you have to delete the files and database and then copy the restore files and database in their place. This is an understandably nerve-wracking process because your website will be down the whole time the restore is taking place. There is no way to also test a WordPress backup before restore. As a continuation of the previous point, there is absolutely no way to know if the backup that you have gotten is complete and downloaded correctly during the backup process. So, when you go into restore, you could discover that the folders are empty or corrupted and that your backup and website have gone up in a puff of smoke. Now I know that these scenarios may sound nightmarish, because they are, but these are actual experiences of customers before they started using BlogWall. So we'd recommend using a plugin like BlogWall to rely on your backups. I'll add a link for a free trial in the description below. Finally, one super important thing that you should know is how to quickly detect and clean malware from your site. Check out the video linked above to successfully deal with any type of malware. That's all for today. If you have any questions at all, please comment below and I'll help you out. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I will see you again next week. Thank you.